Well, my potatoes are doing really well. I just got done healing them. On this side of my potatoes right here, I have uh, a bunch of canary grass that I had put in there along with a bunch of horse manure. Just put it on to prevent loss of moisture. And the potatoes are doing amazing. Have some tomatillos up there by the, the fence and then also some horseradish. And then I have the onions. You can see them coming up right there. Doing real well. For a late start, I'm happy. And then up here, there's my beans. I gotta finish uh, putting grass on the other side of the beans and getting them staked. And I have a couple tomatoes and I have some pepper plants right there. And then right up next to the fence, I don't know if you can see it, I have cucumbers that are coming up. I'm pretty sure I'll have enough time to get them growing real well. I'm gonna train them to go up on the fence right there. So, just wanted to share all of this green stuff right here is the weeds that I had pulled out and just put on top for extra um, mulch. And this year we had to put, had to till it with the hoe. Um, maybe I didn't need to, but I did. Uh, my brother Kelly and I did this. And Hopefully this will continue to be a no-till garden for years to come. I, I will expand this in the future. Got lots of room to do so. The sky has clouds coming in, so we're having cooler temperatures. So I think it will be very nice if we get a little bit more rain. Just thought I'd share the garden with you. Okay, here's the sai. It is what's considered an English sai that I've been using just to cut down the canary grass that I have to put over the, um, the garden. And uh, anyhow, I'll show you where I've been cutting it. Okay, I just cut a bunch down. It doesn't cut as good as what I would hope it would to, but it is doing okay. And I have all that grass right there that I'm harvesting to put on the garden. And then I'm taking horse manure as well, and then just putting it in the middle right on top of this. Not even waiting for it to, to uh, compost down. I'm just putting it where I walk, and I'm hoping that that will it's kind of an experiment to see if it's too hot. I don't know if it will be or not, but we'll find out. Well, I just finished putting the trellis together. Let's see if I can get far enough away. I put cross stakes here, just like that. All the string across. The beans are already starting to shoot up runners right there. And, uh, so I'm gonna start training the beans up on this. I recycled hay twine. I would have preferred to have something that was compostable, but for right now, something that I can just reuse for right now and uh, get rid of responsibly later, I think works good. So anyhow, there's the beans all trellised. Thought you'd like to see that. Okay, well I laid in grass almost to the end of the potatoes in one row that was probably about well, 20 minutes worth of using the sai to cut that much grass it's probably about four inches thick and uh, when I get done everything looks really well watered right now so um, I'm going to get another row laid in and then get some water on this to, to really keep it in uh, a lot better so it doesn't evaporate. There is the potatoes being um, putting grass in there to mulch it in. I have a friend that has a bunch of old hay that I think I will go get some 
and put that in. I think that would work well. Well, for those of you that have been following my channel, I say thank you. For those of you that are just seeing my videos for the first time, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any uh, videos that I put up. I am trying to put out videos about once a week. Um, sometimes I get a, a little bit uh, faster than that. I, the only thing today that really bothered me when I was weeding is that a lot of the weeds that I pulled up were wild edibles. And uh, I plan on doing a whole new video on some of the wild edibles that I have right around my garden. Well, thank you and have a great day.